There are many tales of fated lovers who fall upon catastrophe, but none so terribly odd as that of Tom and Tina Tuckerby. Tina was the shortest of three taller sisters, so she wore three-inch heels in spite of the blisters. She had long legs for miles and long lashes to boot. She wore dark red lipstick, the shade Forbidden Fruit. She drank iced fruit smoothies to calm her sweet tooth because gorging on candy was wholly uncouth. Tom was a well-rounded son of a farmer whom the ladies believed to be quite the charmer. He prided himself on succinct elocution and kept in his pocket a small constitution. He knew how a gentleman ought to behave. He kept himself neat, loved a clean shave. A newlywed couple from two different molds, let's start at the beginning to see how this curious story unfolds. Following showers and baby announcements, Tom entered the world around 65 ounces. In third grade, he won his spelling bee division correctly with the word anthropomorphism. A-N-T-H-R-O-P-O-M-O-R-P-H-I-S-M. Anthropomorphism. He was learned in subjects from history to Latin, was appointed as Moreland High's debate team captain. Tom was a natural born politician climbing the ranks to a Senate position. Born on Friday 13th in the middle of winter, Tina loved to draw pictures with crayons grandma sent her. By age six, she had won Little Miss Country Sunshine, singing a version of Crazy by the great Patsy Cline. In high school, she starred in a local commercial for a car dealership owned by dear Uncle Herschel. Her dreams of Hollywood soon melted away when the prospect of love drifted her way. But guy after guy proved to be less than charming, and Tina was starting to find this disheartening. She wanted so badly to meet Mr. Wright, she turned to the internet's top e-dating site. She wanted a man who dressed in fine clothes, who would listen to her hopes, dreams, and woes. And as fate would have it, Tom was also looking for a companion, a wife, some delicious home cooking. They decided to meet at the local cafe. Only 29 minutes, four seconds away, she found him by spotting his pressed blue slim tie and the flowers he'd placed on a table nearby. For hours they chatted about this, there, and that. About life, about love, and his Siamese cat. They hit it off splendidly right away and whisked off to the chapel the very next day. Congratulations. Thank you, I'm so happy. The marriage was blissful, it started out great, but that would all change with a cruel twist of fate. All of the feelings of love for her mate were replaced with a craving she could not satiate. Now and then she would feel something stir inside. What it was was unbearably hard to subside. She couldn't help but dream about the forbidden fruit she must live without. The Thursday was hot, much hotter than hotter. Cool slices of melon continued to haunt her. The sun beat down and it's important to note that a good slice of watermelon's a fine antidote. She wrestled with thoughts till she could wrestle no longer. She was only so strong and the hunger was stronger. Within days, neighbors noticed the absence of Tom. There were whispers that something had gone very wrong. If you find this story to be problematic, I dare you to find another quite as melon dramatic. <laughs>